have you wanted to buy a sewing machine and don't really know what the differences are, are out here? Whether you spend a little bit of money or you spend a lot of money, you can still sew. How much quality is in that sewing machine is just like what's true with any appliance out there. With the big box stores out there now, they make sewing machines look really good in the box. They make every product look good in the box. They make all kinds of pictures on the outside of the box. The inside of the sewing machine isn't one-tenth of what should be inside a sewing machine. So we all know that we're in a disposable world. But in sewing, I think we need a sewing machine of precision. And we want something that's going to work. And a sewing machine should last you a very long time and never give you grief. So if you follow me, I'll direct you into the right way of what to look for, whether you're buying it for yourself or your loved one. There's three quality features you want on a sewing machine. And there's about seven basic stitches. If you get those, you'll have a sewing machine for the next 20 years that will sew on any type of fabric you want to sew on. If you skip on any of them, you will fight something big time. How much more you want to add to a sewing machine for some of the quilting features and some of the embroidery features will be depend upon how much you want to spend and where your interest is. But for right now, let's just go over the very, very basics of how to buy a decent machine so it will last. You don't need to spend a lot. You could spend 250 and buy a very, very nice machine. You can spend 15000 also, so it just matters of which, which avenue your interest is in. It's our hobby, you know, just like boating is some people's hobby and fishing is, hob is their hobby. Golfing's my husband's hobby, very expensive. However, it's their hobby. It's what we work for. It's what we have fun and how we relax. Sewing is something even better than that because what do we do? We make things for everybody else. So, you know, we should have the best quality we can get. The first thing to look for is three quality features. So the number one thing is the hook system. The hook system is underneath the bobbin case. And I'm going to take this off. You may have a sewing machine that doesn't even have an open arm on it. I would assume that you bought a machine in the last 30 years, but 30 years ago, Grandma didn't even have an open arm. I'm going to snap this open and get my bobbin case top off. And I'm actually going to take this apart and show you what a hook system is all about. There's my bobbin. And here's my hook. Here's my bobbin case, and here's my hook. If you want to compare one thing, you will find the big box stores where they're all plastic from this part on. You don't want that. You're going to break a needle, you're going to go over blue jeans, you're going to break a needle, and your machine is done for. So be very, very, very careful. A dealer is worth buying from. Not just because I'm a dealer, it's a worth buying because they are there to help you. We sell machines that we can service. We have lessons to teach you. And oh, I forgot how to do a blind hem on here. I can't remember how to do a buttonhole. You come on into the store and we'll show you any time, even if it's 10 years later. So the hook system goes all the way around in a circle. And I'm going to unthread it and I'm going to actually turn the hand wheel. As you're using the sewing machine, you always turn the hand wheel towards you. Little trip for you. But it goes all the way around in a circle. We do not want a hook that spins. We want a hook that goes all the way around in a circle. You might have sewed on someone's sewing machine that's constantly jamming. The wrong type of hook. I want a metal full rotary hook on your machine. I'm going to put this right back in real quickly and move on to the next thing that you're going to want to be able to do. You want to be able to take this apart and be able to clean your own machine because the fabrics and the, of the materials today have got a lot of sizing in them. That doesn't mean your machine is misbehaving. It means the fabric has got a lot of lint. Look at your dryer. Well, that's going in your sewing machine also. So we want to be able to take it apart. Look, pretty cool bobbin. Look how, how I can just put it on there. Remember when you used to have to turn the hand wheel? I'll do that one real quick thing for you. It's not going to be on all machines, but it's similar. You put the bobbin down, follow the arrow, come on around, and click. Guess what? I don't even have to bring my bobbin thread up. That's not really where I was going. I'm talking about quality first. So I want you to get a full rotary hook. The next thing I want you to get is called solid state electronic. Your choice is electronics or it is solid state. I want you to get solid state. What that means is that I'm going to be able to go from one to two to four layers of denim and keep right on going. So I can go right on over it. Have you ever sewed a sewing machine or sewed on anything and you went over the blue jeans and went, 
and then you couldn't get it to go any further, this way you're not going to have that happen. It's going to have as much needle penetration power going slow as it does going fast. So you don't have to go 100 miles an hour to get over it. Solid state electronic is the feature you want. So the features that I wanted you to get is a full rotary hook. I want you to get a solid state electronics. The next thing I want you to make sure you get is called universal pressure. And what that means is your machine now can adjust from any fabric. So if you had something very, very heavy here, I'm able to, the machine will automatically adjust for you to be able to go over the fabrics. If you buy those three features on a sewing machine, you will sew through anything and you will not have issues. So makes it easy. You can buy a mechanical machine like my little Molly here. That's what we call it. It's a mechanical machine, meaning I have to turn the dial. There are gears inside that adjust to the cam as to which one you're doing. You adjust your width, you adjust your length. It's not a big deal. But guess what? It has my full rotary hook. It has my solid state electronic foot control. It has my universal pressure. has everything I need. It's got every stitch that I'm going to tell you about, the seven basic stitches that you're going to need on a sewing machine. This also adds a one-step buttonhole. That's your next thing to think, do you want a four-step buttonhole? I'll show you. You have to change and turn the dial. When you go up a little bit of money, about $50, you're going to get a one-step buttonhole. I'd strongly suggest you do that. You say, oh, I'm never making clothing. You're going to make a purse. You're going to make a shower curtain. You're going to make something. Make it easy on yourself. So you're talking here into a good, high-quality metal machine under the $300 price point, and it's going to work for you for a long, long time. If my opinion, if you don't spend a decent $250, $300 on a sewing machine, you should buy a used one, a reconditioned one that has got these features in it, but has been pre-owned and certified and warranted, which we do. Okay, so now let's go into what is onto an electronic machine. So why do I want a push-button machine rather than a mechanical machine? That would be your question. Well, ease of operation is one thing. The next feature that I'm going to tell you to get is seven stitches that I want you to make sure you get. It does not matter how many sewing machine, how many stitches are in here. Some of these boxes at the big box store say they do 140 stitches. If it doesn't do the basic seven, you don't need 140 because they won't do them very well. You need seven and then go from there. Threading is a big thing. Now I'm a little, I'm to the grandma age and I'll tell you the number one thing that is on my list when I'm looking at a sewing machine now is the needle threader because that's what you get when you become a grandma. So let's take a look at threading. I want to show you how simple it can be. This is not as easy as some of them. It's probably, it's definitely super, super easy, but I want you to know they basically do it by themselves. I'm coming up. I just went through one, two, three, four. No tensions like you used to have to go through. It does it all on its own. I'm going to bring it up here to number seven. Reach over here and click it off. Now I'm going to press, lower my presser foot and watch my threading. It threads the needle exactly for me. Let me see. Needle up, needle down. Try one more time. How do you like that? Threaded that needle for me. I would tell you, me personally anymore, I'm going to buy the sewing machine with the lowest price if I just want a basic machine with the wonderful needle threader in it. So check it out when you go to the store. Check out the different ones of which ones you have. You'll choose which brands you want to get into. But a needle threader is something to really think about considering how often you use it and your eyesight. So remember, I'm a grandma. You're not. Needle threader isn't as important for you. I remember my mom telling me so many times, Jean, will you thread that needle for me? Will you thread that needle for me? I can't do black thread. Well, guess what I'm saying now? But not with a built-in needle threader. I don't have to worry about that anymore. Okay. Let's start talking about the stitches that you need, the important things. Then I'll go through a few of the goodies that you might decide you want. The most important thing that I want you to get is called Trimotion. And Trimotion is an overcasting stitch that finishes your edges. You may have gone down with a straight stitch at one time and then back with a zigzag and it looks like it's homemade. Your sewing machine doesn't have to do that anymore. On my machine, all I have to do is to go to number 14 
being an electronic machine, I just come and push number 14 and my stitch, voila, makes a stitch zigzag in the width and the length and everything all adjust for me so I have nothing to do. I'm sewing on this denim so that the stitching shows up to you a little bit. What I'm going to do is I want you to watch the machine. I'm going to go at full speed for a second, but I'm overcasting the edge. I'm finishing the seam. I'm going to slow it down now because I want you to see how it's rocking back and forth. Do you see here where it's coming up, back, over, up, back and over. Now that's called trimotion, forward, backward, sideways, all in the stitch. We have special stitches here that work for knits. We have special stitches that work for wovens because it'll stop the raveling for me. So what I've done is the raveling is 100. That's it. It's not raveling no more through no washings whatsoever. And I can now cut this stitch and that is my straight stitch as well. I have a beautiful straight stitch. I have it seamed. Everything is beautifully done, just like in bought in clothing. It's the most important stitch that you have because even if you are mending and fixing the shoulder seam, you need to have the tri-motion stretch stitch. The next stitch I want you to have is called a stretch straight. The Overcasting for knits is the most important thing. Try motion overcast to stop your ravelings and stretch with your knits. Back to that one quick second. I wanted to see, show you where I finished this neckline. Right on around with the knit. The overcasting that I'm telling you to buy called try motion will stretch and it'll pull back into shape. See how beautiful that is? Many of you stretch and it stays out of shape. Buy the proper sewing machine with the proper stitch. You'll never have that happen. The next one I want you to do is called a stretch straight. It's still a tri-motion. I need stitch number five. So all I have to do is to go to zero, five. I have my stretch straight. Again, we're watching right here where it's going up to back one, up to back one. I'm gonna lengthen it out a little bit just for the visual of you being able to see. Now let me slow it down and you watch. It's going forward, up two, back one, up two, back one. Back to the big box stores. If you don't buy a precision sewing machine, guess what's gonna happen? It doesn't go back and forth as beautifully as that does, back and forth in the same hole. It's an absolutely gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous top stitching stitch, but it's for the back of the crotch seams. The sleeve seams right here. Anything you ever want to sew and you don't ever want it to rip out, cornhole bags. Every one of them I made with that stitch because I wasn't wanting to fix those things ever again. It's called a stretch straight. It's precision tri-motion stretch straight. Watch what you're getting. You'll have a wonderful machine that'll last forever. So the stitches I went through so far are your overcasting for your knits as well as wovens, your stretch straight, I want you to get a blind hem. A blind hem means I can hem anything I want to and it'll never show. So a blind hem stitches on most machines nowadays. Precision ones are a little trickier. Uh, we have a new mending stitch. We have a three-step zigzag, zigzag straight stitch and a built-in buttonhole. That will be a sewing machine, just like my little Molly here, that will service you forever as long as you get the quality to go along with it. Now let's say, what's all this other stuff on a sewing machine? What do I need it for? Well, guess what? We made sewing machines that were having bigger openings. I even have bigger openings than this. Because if you're quilting and you've got this massive quilt, that might be something that you really want to consider. Let's talk about the features right here on the machine. We're actually, you're used to using a foot control and some of us will never get used to not using a foot control because you won't take the time. But if you ever give it a chance, you can unplug your foot control. I have a stop start button here. I'm gonna slow it down so you can see. Sewing along. I wanna stop. Let's go and go back to a regular straight stitch. I'm gonna start my machine again. I'm going forward. I got it slow for you on purpose. It's backing up, it's reversing for me. So I'm slowing it down again for you to see. 
What the advantage of it, first of all, you have a, a slow control. So when you want it to be really controlled and know what you're doing, you can slow it down. I really like that for my grandkids now. So that's a feature that you might want to think about is how does it slow down? How does it, you have a speed control on your machine like this. You've got just as much penetration power even going through the heavy stuff. It isn't like your old sewing machine where you had to go 100 miles an hour to get over that seam. Speed control. We have our start stop button, remember? I'm pushing the button. I am not pushing the pedal. I'm doing it here. I have my reverse. You're used to that. Now, the feature that I couldn't be without myself personally, you get spoiled on whatever you're doing, is you're sewing along. This one has a reverse because I have it set for that. And I want to stop. I can push this button and it stops on a dime. Knots in place, not reverse, no puckers, stops in a dime, done. Greatest feature they put on a sewing machine. The next one is we're going to jump over and show you the scissors. So as of right now, I can cut the scissors and guess what? It cut the top and bottom thread for me. Done it for me. I don't have to be underneath there reaching to get my, my thread cut out and reaching with my scissors, with my scissors to be able to do it right. Okay. So scissors are something that's on a little bit more advanced sewing machines. You get real spoiled with whatever you have. This is basic still. You're talking sewing machines here in the uh, 200 to the thousand dollar range. We got lots more features that are on a lot more different machines that you can see at another time. So the last one I didn't go through was needle up, needle down. And that's very affordable feature. And it's a feature, especially if you're buying a gift, they would really like it. Watch how I'm sewing along. It's reversing because I want it to. I'm sewing along and I want to stop. By having my needle in the down position, I can turn my material to do my quilting. I can sew a little bit more. I can stop and I can turn my material to sew a little bit more and stop. How convenient it is. I want to stop on a dime because I want to stop right there. The greatest feature they ever invented. Use my scissors to cut my threads and away I go. So these are mechanical features, whether they're electronic or mechanical, they're features that help you in your sewing every single time you sew. However many of these decorative stitches you want is going to be up to you. I would suggest you get the one-step buttonholes. We'll put it on and show you. I'd suggest you get a few quilting stitches, a couple heirloom stitches, and some fun stitches so that I'll show you what they're used for so that you realize that it's not just a bunch of stuff you're buying, it's things that you will use. Especially if you buy from a dealer that's going to teach you. There's absolutely no reason to have all these goodies on a sewing machine and sew straight stitch. There's so many more things you can do, it's incredible. And I'm gonna show you what they're for and maybe entice you to get in here and start learning some things and start taking some classes and use your sewing machine as to what it is so that there's so much more that we can do nowadays. It's just incredible. It's amazing what we're doing on sewing machines that we weren't doing even five years ago.